Well, hello, you guys. Welcome to the vlog. Um, this is a little different. It's actually Sunday. Um, I have had a super uneventful weekend. Um, I just hung out and I did actually a bunch of cleaning and whatnot. So, um, we are headed out right now. We have to go grab a couple things from I don't know where. Um, but I wanted to stop on here and be like, hello, guys. I am vlogging this week. Um, it's just taken me a hot second to get life situated, it seems like, this weekend. Um, so, I did a little bit of real quick makeup up and obviously you guys are with me so we shall see the next time I see you could be tonight could be tomorrow morning I don't know but I did at least want to check in they're looking at me like I'm an idiot now because I'm vlogging in the car story of my life why your car why not my car what do you mean there's too much crap well, if you cleaned it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, guys, hi. Um, we are back to, obviously, the abode. I, uh... I didn't vlog or anything when we were out because quite frankly I was like talking to them and just chilling and I totally forgot like I was like just living life and it was such a fun experience for a minute you know it's so interesting because I think that like in the world of like modern day you know technology and phones and just all that kind of crap um, I think it's so easy to like get wrapped up in it and then when there are moments that I don't like there are moments that I put my phone away and that I put the vlogging camera away and stuff like that and I actually just like spend time with my parents or whoever I'm with I think it's so interesting because later on I look back and I'm like oh my god I didn't vlog that I didn't need to you know what I mean like that feeling where you're like it's okay that I didn't and that's what happened uh, last night too when Michelle was here that's why I didn't vlog last night either I just I didn't even think about it like I was hanging out with my friend we were just doing our thing and it was a good time and I don't know it's kind of encouraging when it happens like it's just a reminder that you don't need the phone you don't need the camera and I don't, I don't know there's just something nice about it so anyways we went out and we did our thing we had to go to the tractor place and look at the little chickens our little baby chicks they were super cute little baby duckies and they were laying and we had to go see them um and you guys i was gonna film all weekend i was like oh i have to film i have to film i did not film at all this weekend i cleaned my room my vanity area i got my brushes organized um a bunch of that but i didn't do anything else like i don't even know and i didn't like oh my god my lipstick all over the place i didn't even like organize my brushes i have an obnoxious amount of brushes I love brushes I I test a ton as you guys know I am so red right here and I don't know why um but anyways I have all these brushes and um where was I going with that oh so the ones that I got like put away on my vanity are like not even a third of my brushes so I'm like where are the rest gonna go no idea I need to go through them now and like separate my like my favorite ones from my not favorite ones that way when I go to do that video for you guys it'll be like so much easier I've been thinking a lot about this and like how I want to separate out like all my different products because I wanted to be able to do like foundations and primers and stuff like that and I think the way I'm gonna do it is like for foundations I want to do high-end versus low-end and do it like that you know like these are all my high-end foundations these are all my low-end this is how I like to use them this is how I you know like to mix them or whatever um, and that way I could break it into two videos and I know those videos are gonna be super long because I have so many foundations um, and then I wanted to do uh, like go go through like all my you know areas like that I don't know how to break up palettes if you guys have any idea you could let a girl know because I have a ton of palettes that I would love to like go through I can show them to you like you a lot of you have actually asked to see my makeup collection and I would totally show you but right now it's a friggin disaster um so yeah I've got that going on and like I don't know but when it comes to brushes I honestly think it's just gonna be like one long-ish video where I talk about brushes because I could divide them between like more expensive and less expensive but then I feel like that's not fair because some of my favorite brushes are super affordable so then I thought I could go favorite and least favorite brushes but then that doesn't help you either because you know what I, like it's just I don't know I feel like brushes are one of them topics where I need to like put them all together just bite the bullet and it's gonna be like a half hour of me talking about brushes super exciting uh, but a lot of you have been really 
asking my opinion and I thought about dividing it out by like brand like doing Morphe BH cosmetics it cosmetics but then I'm like no because you'd really need to have like a ton of brushes from every single line so I don't know there's just see this is the kind of stuff I lay awake at night and think about I know super boring um, so anyways, that's my world right now, and I wore some heels today. Actually, you guys, hold on. Can I find a way to show you my outfit? I wore, like, this is, like, technically it's a tank top. You can see this right here, right? But it's just, like, this super loose, like, adorable tank, and it's so, like, it's so flowy and, like, easy breezy. Hello, small boobs. And I love this tank top so much. I got it from Mod Cloth, like, two years ago, and it still is kicking around. It's amazing. I love it. And then I just wore my black, like, stretchy uh, jeans with it, and then these super cute shoes, which, hold on, let me take a shoe off and show you, because me trying to lift my foot up to the camera, we both know that that's nothing but funny. So these are shoes that I got from Torrid. Oh my God, they are dirty. That's so gross. But anyways, these are the shoes I got from Torrid. They are so cute. They zip right here. They're just precious and I love them. They are super comfortable. So I wore these with this outfit today. And then of course, don't forget my sweater from Walmart. This is like my, you know, $3 sweater from Walmart that I will wear for the rest of my life. Um, while we're at it, how about we take both shoes off? That's a good idea. Ouch. So anyways, that's that. I did my makeup like super duper quick today before we left because I didn't really want to do my hair and makeup and then my mom like guilted me into it because she wanted us to like go out and go pick up uh, puppy pads and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, I'll go. And I don't know. I think it turned out okay. It's like, it looks good. Anytime this is that, um... I don't even know what it is. Oh my god, look at my eyelashes. Holy crap. Guys, I'm so happy about this. One of these times, I am going to go over with you guys, like, my brows and, like, my lashes and the serum that I used and, like, why I picked it and all that stuff. And, like, I don't know. There's just, there's so much information there that I feel like I need to go over because it's one of those, like, really important things. Like, the serum and stuff that I used has, like, changed the brow and, like the eyelash game for me like that's co that's crazy uh anyways so hi i am having such a breakout like the last probably week and i changed my diet for the better so i know that it's not like the food i've been keeping up on my water intake and i'm 99 percent positive it's because i've had like a ton of like slight what what most people would consider like stress that's what my mom's calling it she's like well honey you've been really stressed like of course you know your your foot your acne is like flaring up but like this over here got this is okay like it looks actually really good on camera um but like down here i had like a huge patch i even had one on the back of my head had I've got some here like one up here like it's just it's very overwhelming so anyways but my under eye looks really nice that's exciting so anywho I'm gonna go take my makeup off get into my PJs and I need to edit last week's vlog so I can have that ready to go for tomorrow and yeah I will see you guys here pretty soon I just wanted to check in and show you my cute outfit because it's really cute and by the way do you guys like seeing the outfit of the days and like the outfity type questions because I feel like I'm never sure like some people or like some whatevers they really love seeing like outfit of the days like what are you wearing how do you dress your like how do you dress yourself but what's your style and I feel like I don't have a super awesome style or anything but for like a plus size person I feel like I carry myself really well and I style myself very well so that like I can still feel confident and be plus size and I feel like that's something a lot of people are always curious about and I'm not one of those channels yet I would love to be one of those channels that does like try on hauls and stuff like that for you guys but because I don't do that I I repurpose a lot of the same items and so there's always a lot of people that are like wow that's really flattering like how did you pick that cut or why did you pick that cut and like I told you guys and we talked about in my last vlog which a lot of you are by the way really relating to um, I have super small boobs so when you have small boobs, a lot of times it's harder to find flattering outfits because our boobs don't stick out as far and they don't hide our belly and then I have like a flat ass and it's just like a lot of like not cute moments. And anyways, I don't know. If you guys like seeing my outfits and stuff like that, let me know because sometimes they're boring and they're just like t-shirts and that's fine. But other times when they're shirts like this and I like style them a little different, they're kind of cute. I'm not trendy at all. I just like, I've always had a very like 
chill style but mixed with like cute items if that makes sense like I love to take like a t-shirt kind of standard outfit and make it cute whether it be with like hair or accessories or something I don't know I just like to jazz up really simple pieces and and try to make them like a thing even if they're not a thing to me they're a thing and I'm like oh look at my three dollar Walmart sweater I'm looking so cute even if I'm really not <laughs> like how I have all the I flipped my hair like this I know I look cute I'm like who come at me what are you gonna do about it I'm so adorable <laughs> people would love to look like this <laughs> duh okay not really but whatever okay I'm for real I have to pee so bad and I'm not taking you with me for that that's a TMI good morning you guys I just realized that I'm pretty sure this foundation oxidized in like a straight line that's really cute that's great. No, really, I love it. I love it that all my favorite foundations turn me orange in every shade of the wrong color. Good morning. So you guys obviously saw this already. I did a get ready with me, um, and it was so fun. I really enjoyed it, actually. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to check in and uh, be like, hey, what's up? I'm wearing this shirt today, which is really cute. I don't wear yellow because um, when you're super pale, a lot of times it makes you look jaundiced. So I, I'm wearing it, but I'm gonna put like a blue sweater or something over it to kind of counter the yellow. Should have done that prior to getting on camera, but just wanted to say good morning. Oh, and you guys, okay, actually we need to come in here real quick because I tried this thing last night. This is gonna be like a me walking all over real quick, but I tried these Peace Out pores last night. I've tried their Peace Out acne dots. I've tried a, like a couple different things from this line, but they have these, they're basically blackhead and pore strips where like, you know the normal like Biore strip that you put over your nose? They're just like that, but you leave them on for four to six hours, like while you sleep or whatever, and then you take them off and they're supposed to help like visibly shrink your pores and like pull the stuff out or whatever. And I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. So anyways, I did one last night just for the nose. They have them um, like if you look at this little guy right here in the middle, they have them uh, for the nose and strips for like the forehead or anywhere else that your pores are like super enlarged, right? So I tried one just for the nose last night. P.S. You get these at Sephora, which I won't be buying them there anymore. You can find them at other places online. But I did one last night and I don't know, did I save it? Okay, so it fell on the ground, so it looks extra, that looks so dumb. So it looks extra disgusting, but like it didn't pull out like conventional blackhead things. It pulled out like these weird little, like can you see those little white patches? It pulled out like weird, like like sebum-y type stuff that was like stuck in my pores. P.S. This is disgusting. I would never normally show this, but I was so impressed. And my biggest thing is I'm like, how are you going to sit here and try to tell me that you are going to shrink my pores? Like you're not going to shrink my pores. We both know you're lying. My pores on my nose were smaller today, guys. Like, and there's no, I don't think I have good enough lighting. But like, I, oh yeah, P.S. My face has done nothing but cry all day. Like this eye, like, look at that. And now there's like tissue stuck to it. That's even better. Awesome. That's great. I'll deal with that later. As I keep screwing with it. But like, I only did them, I did the nose one, right? So it was like through here. It looked different. Like, I could actually see a difference when I took it off. It was crazy. I'm so excited to try the other ones and let you know if they work. But so far, so good. Um, anyways, I had to show you guys that because I was really excited. Maybe the next time I do one, I'll do it, like, on camera so you can see, like, a before and after of uh, the strip and everything. But crazy awesome. And what gets me, too, is because in my mind, like, I think in all of our minds, when you have blackheads, you're used to the Biore strips, right? And the Biore strips, like, you can see, like, what it pulls out. Like, it lifts it out like a root of a tree. And that's disgusting. It makes me want to throw up. I'm not one of those people that can, like, talk about this because it literally makes me gag. But... Anyway, like the pimple pop videos, I can't. I will vomit. Um, but anyways, I think that that's what we, like what I pictured when I put this on. I'm like, how what? How long does it take for it to grab on? But it's not grabbing like the dark part. It's grabbing like the stuff in your pores that make them enlarge. Like the oil or the built up grease or whatever is in there. Grease and oil are the same thing. Idiot. But it like, it's the weirdest thing. Oh, and it's so gross, but like it was oddly satisfying when I took it off because honestly what was weird is that if you saw on that little strip Like at the end of my nose is where my pores are probably like the most pronounced They're filled with the most like gook and like nastiness and I swear That was where like the most stuff had come out. So I was like weird and those pores on my nose were smaller So I was like okay um but anyways i'm gonna go do life now that i've you know given you such a rousing introduction um my hair i'm gonna have to clip this part back so i can function today um i've said this before but like if i'm at the desk i cannot have this piece of hair right here 
this cannot be in my face. It has to be back here. Because when it goes in, I can't live. It gets stuck in my gloss. It goes in my eyes. I look down. I grab a piece of paper. Before I know it, I'm like, I will cut that damn thing off. Huh. Fun fact, one time when I was in high school, I got so angry and like frustrated with my bangs. And I didn't realize it at the time, but my hair was insanely brittle. And um, it lit, like I got frustrated and I literally ripped out my bangs. Like this whole section right here, ripped them out of my head. Yeah, um, and I didn't know it at the time, but like you're not supposed to be able like and I did one of these like all I did was like twist it and I was like oh and I lightly tugged on it and like it all broke out. I didn't know because obviously I had a tumor. I didn't realize how deficient I was in every aspect of my life. This is what I love about a smoked out outer eye. Do you see like how it takes it and it goes thoop, and it makes my eyes look so much more like snatchified than they really are in real life in real life my eyes look like tiny little piss holes in a in a sandbox filled with doo-doo and in real life right now they look really nice yes queen okay so i actually have to go do life i don't want to my highlight looks really good though i really hope you guys are loving the like get ready with me's i'm really trying to incorporate those more and hang out a little bit more you guys my hair you ever have that where like in the back of your head your hair feels greasy but like I don't think it is it just feels greasy but then you touch it more and more and then it eventually does get greasy because you touched it stop touching it Paige Ugh. <laughs> that's what they tell me at all the strip clubs they're like girl you can look but you can't touch and I'm like yeah queen just kidding I don't go to strip clubs I don't go to any club I'm boring time to go do life send help oh girl you look dang nice yeah. Let's get you guys zoomed in. I am low-key so excited. I feel like everyone's staring at me. This lighting is like so bad. Oh my god. Okay, can we talk about though? I know that this lighting is really bad and everything, but I promise you like my skin looks so good right now. This is awful. Pretend I never said that because it really does look good. But this is just an awful example. So anyways, I just had to come on here. You guys, I am so excited, and by the time this vlog goes up, you will have already seen it, because I will be touching these, that sounds really dirty, as soon as this is over, like today is over, I'm touching these. I am dying inside, because they are finally here, the ColourPop new loose eyeshadow pigment things, they are their loose pigment shadow, I am dying with excitement. I got them, I ordered them all, they had them in a kit for a discounted price, and I knew it was gonna sell out in like 10 seconds. So it's finally here, I'm, I almost showed you my address, that's creepy, but I'm so friggin' excited, you guys. Like, it's not even healthy, my level of excitement right now. I can't wait, I wanna play with them so bad, like, and I didn't open them because I know if I open them, I just spit on myself. I know I'm gonna be like, mm, and it's like I have 300 other things I need to get done today, but I'm dying i want to play with them so bad huh. okay i need to like calm my tits a little bit but i can't because i'm so excited oh my god like i want to i don't know what it is but when they launched those i was actually okay let's zoom you back out because now i feel oh that's the wrong way page who taught me how to play with the damn camera um so i am let's keep going you're still a little bit a little bit close okay so when i was younger or when i was younger where was i going with that you idiot Earlier in the year when they released oh, I was answering my own question who taught you how to play with a camera when I was younger I got my first camera answered my own question didn't even know it But when they released their supernova shadows the ones that were like in the stick, you know And the like the the steel of glitter like dupes, okay? They released those I was so excited. I bought a bunch of them and if you recall I was actually not that impressed like they did not stay on my lids They kind of got gummy and like weird on me Again, not uncommon with my eyelids because they're so textured, but I was so bummed. And so now, anytime they release something, I'm like, ah! <laughs> I was really low, like, peaks. He's not in here. Sorry, someone was looking for my, my faja. But um, I was like, I've had, like, really good, it, like, really good peaks and then, like, really low lows. Like, they've recently released those Lux lipsticks, which, by the way, my favorite shade is Pinkies Up. I ordered a backup because it was finally in stock. I was like, add that damn thing to my cart. I love that lipstick so much. I'm clapping in between every syllable. What does that tell you? So anyway, <laughs> I'm one of those people. So anyways, um, I ordered one of those, but I loved that launch. I loved their dream... Their, I know, I'm so cute. I loved their Dream Street collab with... Cla Ca fuck. With Kathleen Lights. 
That was so good. I loved that. I love, surprisingly enough, this new Matte X formula that they came out with that I'm like, eh? the You know, the stick one that I told you guys about, I wore it in like a few videos ago. And it goes on and it's like in a roll-up stick, but it's like, feels like a powder. I don't know. It's crazy awesome though. I feel like there's someone staring at me, but there's not. And I keep looking, but there's still no one staring at me. So anyways, all of that to say, I'm very like apprehensive about my ColourPop love because some things have been hitting, some things have been missing, and I really hope I love these. I don't know how you could go wrong with a loose pigment, but I guess if it gets like gummy, you could probably go wrong. I don't know. My makeup looks real good today, queen. Look at those lashes. Look at that skin. Like even in the bad lighting, it looks good. Mm-hmm. Well, good morning, you guys. It's been a few days since I checked in. Like, I've had my vlogging camera with me, but honest to God, I have been so, like, I've been doing things, first of all, that, like, I couldn't have a camera with me, like, real life crap where it's like oh you can't like film the world you know so i've been doing stuff like that and then like doctor's appointments and it's just like Ugh. and then yesterday i got out okay so i have this one doctor and he is a habitual offender when it comes to being late as fuck and like he's never on time like if my appointment's at eight because i really like early appointments if my appointment is at 8 a.m i will see him at you know He's there at like 8.20, 8.30. Don't get me wrong. He's like well worth the wait. He's a great doctor and he's in and he's out and I really like him. But it's just like... <sighs> so I go and I'm like, oh, sweet. I'll be able to vlog. Like, I'm, I had some stuff to say. I'm like, I'm a vlog. So I went to get out my camera. That motherfucker was on time. I was like, you know, I've been seeing you for how long? And now you're on time? Mother effa. So that didn't work out. And I was just like, okay. I'm sick of the world. Anyways, but today we tested out the uh, all of those, the balm products that you guys obviously already saw. Oh my god, like in natural light, this looks even more beautiful. Like, I didn't even know that this was possible. My hair really, I should have like washed it yesterday. I needed, but I wanted to not do it until today. And do you notice the actual normal shape of my brows? I just want, I want to draw everyone's attention to it. Just to prove that I can do relatively thin, normal-ish brows. Just so you know. So now everybody can stop bragging on me. Because some days they get a lot of, out of control. But some days they're not so bad. Wow, that highlight is ridiculous. I'm so... Okay, guys, I'm having an issue where I can't not stare at myself. I feel like my outfit doesn't match today. Like, I'm wearing this really cute sweater, and my hope was that, like, the cute, like, red-ish undertones in the sweater would pull, like, the cute little kissies, but I don't know that it matches. Mm, might have to have an outfit change, because now that I look at it, it's like, I don't know that that, I don't know that that works, bitch. So I might have to go put on something else. I don't know what else. I'm just, I'm so... You guys, I'm having one of those days where I'm like, I can't keep a cohesive thought. And it's like Thursday, I think Wednesday, Thursday. It's somewhere in the middle of the week. Like, I should be more adapt to my life. And I'm just not adapted is the word. Adapted. And I'm just not there. Like, I'm not there. And I, I feel like an idiot, but that's the truth. So, anyways, I have to go do life now. Um, yeah, there's really nothing else to say. Nothing exciting is happening this week. I feel so bad. I need to drum up some excitement. I need to do something exciting. Good morning, everyone. Do you ever have the feeling that, like, the only days I'm good with makeup are the days that I'm not recording it? Like, look at my eyes. They turned out so beautiful. It was so easy. And I'm just like, how does this happen? Like, I didn't even try to do, like, a cut crease. It just, like, did it. And I was like, oh, okay. I've got on, like, this cute dress today, which I'm going to try to find a way to show you what I look like. I'm not sure how I'm going to get that in here yet, but I'm going to. So today, the big thing is, my sister is actually getting married. Um, she decided to do with her boyfriend, um, or fiance, I'm sorry, I guess, I guess you're a fiance before you're married, but they decided to do a Justice of the Peace wedding, and they decided on it a couple of weeks ago, and they've kind of always been like, they've always loved each other. There is something going on outside right now that is so damn loud, you can't even hear your own life happen. But anyways, um, they decided that, you know, they've kind of been like together, not together, um, for a long time. And they've always like had that love there. And it's like, I think that they both finally came to this conclusion of like, why would we wait anymore? Like, clearly this is what we want. This is what's meant to be. Like, we've, like, cut one apart and then come back together. This is clearly what is supposed to happen. So, he's a really good guy. Um, and they're gonna go get married today because they just decided, they're like, we don't want to wait anymore. So, um, I'm not sure if I'll make it that way yet or not, but I wanted to be prepared just in case my day let me go. Um, so I'm just wearing, like, this little, it's like a blue-ish dress. Is there any way for me to, like, set you guys up so you can see what we're looking at? 
Okay guys, so I don't know what it looks like, but this is as, apparently as good as it's gonna get. So the boots come all the way up to literally the knee. They're just super cute, like stretch boots. I got them from Torrid. They fit like a dream. Dress also from Torrid. Tights, super cheap from like Walmart or Meyer or something, don't know. And that's it, super easy to put together, right Ma? Yeah, looks... I want you to step over there too, okay. real quick. Ouch. Why? Because I think I can get a, a better on your leggies. Yeah. Yeah? Oops, sorry. Are they the cutest thing you've ever I'm seen? just messing with everybody here. Are they the cutest thing you've ever yeah, seen? Yeah, because I can actually see that they're like a brown now. Right, like the detailing a little bit? Um, they're almost like a mixture between like boots and oh, like riding look at that. boots. Woohoo! They're cute. They're mixed, right? Between like boots and riding boots though? Yeah, they're really cute. Like, and I try to like put it all together, yes? Yes. Do I look fabulous? Wonderful. Are you just like, whoa, that is the sexiest thing I've ever seen in my life? Yep. God, that's what I was going for. Thank you, Mom. Okay, guys. So, fun fact. By the way, I'm like, I was having such a hot flash. I'm like in a tank top. Like, hello, cute. By the way, look at my cute little lemon shirt. Isn't that adorable? Okay, anyways, I just got done um, curling my hair, and I have to get ready relatively quickly um, because I'm running late. I know. Big shock. And um, I wanted to, I was thinking about the vlog, and I was like, I... I didn't have much content this week and I thought because there was a lot of stuff that like I couldn't show you I thought we would just sit down and to kind of wrap it up before I start the next week's vlog um, I thought we would just kind of hang out and do a get ready with me and like I just attach it to the tail end so um, basically what happened this week you guys so much happened this week it's crazy oh in my last video where I was talking about and I like reviewed the balm products one of you said I had like a rash on my neck that's literally just like what happens if I like itch my neck like this or like rub my neck or anything um I get really really red my mom does too so if you're like why is this girl so red that's why p.s. I already primed my face um I went in with the origins primer today uh the willow herb one I really love that primer and I don't know it's just it's so great and I kind of wanted it to like sit into the skin and today I'm going in with that makeup atelier that I already reviewed on my channel you guys I love this foundation so much it wears so beautifully on the skin for me um which is crazy like the other day I wore it for like eight hours and I didn't notice like any difference over eight hours once it was like eight to ten hours it started to like break down a little quicker quicker but for the most part, it held up so beautifully. I don't know. I just really like it. So, and it's got a decent amount of coverage. Like, it's not, it's not my favorite, like, oh, yeah, full coverage right from the beginning. Because you can see I have to build it up a little bit. But once I get all my powders and stuff on, it looks just, it looks beautiful. So, anywho, uh, what happened this week? Um, well, I guess we could start with, like, the most recent... Um, as you guys saw in the last clip, I was actually, uh, my sister was getting married at the Justice of the Peace, and, um, I don't know, it was a really cute little ceremony, you know, they, uh, they opened up the, because we had quite a few people show up for it, um, quite a few people from our side and his side showed up, so they actually opened up a little, like, a court room for us because there were just so many people, um, which was cool. It was, they, the lady that did it was so stinking nice. Like, she was so sweet. She's like, yeah, you guys can come back here so you can get, like, good shots of what's going on and stuff. Like, just really respectful. And I think it's so cool because, like, there was a time that getting married at Justice of the Peace and, like, going that route was so looked down upon. Like, people would just treat you like trash if you did it. And, like, even the, the person who officiated the ceremony was just so rude and, like, like, I don't know it was like a poor person thing and I like that now it's really not just a poor person thing now it's like a you know this is just what we want like we want it simple or we want to be married or you know I don't want all that other stuff I just want this and I think it's cool that like as society has kind of come around to this idea that you know not everybody needs the big fancy wedding or in my sister's case like she'd already had one like she just she didn't she didn't want to go that route this time she's like I know who I want to be with and I want to and I just that's awesome you know what I mean so it was nice that the lady was so sweet and um at first I was gonna like vlog it and film it and all that stuff and I'm not sure you know it's one of those things where I've talked about this on my channel before I think um and you guys are always like hey like incorporate other people and like we want to see your family and stuff and I'm in northern Michigan so it's hard to explain to people that like maybe are not from like places like where I'm at but where we live I'm not gonna say the internet isn't a thing because obviously it is like I'm on it but it's it's one of those things where 
people where I live really love their privacy. Like it's very rural here. People don't like the whole like being on the internet, being on TV, having their whole life talked about. Like it's just, it's a lot more private here still than it is in like LA where you could walk up to anyone on the street and ask them their deepest secret and they'd like tell you. You know what I mean? Like it's just not, we're not that open here yet. And so that's why I don't like vlog a lot of different things. Just it's out of respect for people. I don't ever want them to be uncomfortable. Um, and so that's kind of, you know, I just, I prefer to kind of, if, if they ever say like, hey, yeah, you can vlog or hey, Paige, if you want to vlog, you can, that's fine. And I definitely will. And I don't have a problem like bringing you guys into my life, obviously. But it's just more out of respect for people that I try to just be respectful. And I think too, with some people, like you just, you know them well enough to be like, yeah, they're not comfortable with this. So I'm not even going to go there. Um, I don't ever want to be like that vlogger that like throws it in people's face. Like, can I vlog? Can I vlog? Like, no, you know what I mean? Like, just calm your tits. <laughs> like, it's just not, you don't need to breathe and actually like just enjoy life for 10 seconds before trying to like, you know, make everybody that uncomfortable. So anywho, if you're ever like, why don't you do it? That's, that's why I just, try to be a little more uh conscious of that kind of stuff which makes weeks like this one a little more difficult because that's why there's just not a lot of content stuff I did was with other people and don't get me wrong I didn't ask about the wedding but I also I just you know it was one of those where it was kind of like it didn't seem super um what's the word not important it didn't seem appropriate to be like oh let me vlog because this is about me like it, it wasn't about me and I wanted to make sure that like it stayed about the task at hand, so that looks really good, I know. <laughs> Giving myself a stash. So, anywho, that happened, and then what else happened? Uh, okay, sorry. Um, what else did happen this week? Lots of crazy stuff happened. Oh, one thing that I should probably touch on, um, which this is all I'm going to say, and then, like, the conversation about it is over. Um, my boyfriend and I did break up, so that is something that, um, because he was never really a part of this channel, and just out of respect, we are still friends and all that, so, um, but that, that did happen, um, and for those of you that are going to ask, like, why and want details, there won't be any details because I'm not that kind of person, um, the people that need to know, know, and that's really it, but essentially we just we're different and it's okay that you know you try stuff out and I mean we dated for a long time so there was a day or two in there where I had to like you know deal with my life and kind of recenter my focus while wow, I'm like so washed out right now this is the trip this could be like a Halloween look all by itself mm. so like the, I could go as like unblended girl for Halloween <laughs> like oh, what a good idea and you could just like crash like contour and like this weird like blotch of brush blush and you could just like put your unblended girl i should totally do that for halloween i don't get dressed up for halloween is that weird you guys i haven't like i love halloween i think it's such a great holiday but i literally am a hermit like i just don't do stuff for halloween like what are you doing for halloween um watching tv like every other night and then going to work like every other day you know what i mean like oh <laughs> i'm just not that exciting i don't know i think if i had like a kid or something it would be different but Anywho, so we broke up, so that took up a day or so, so I didn't, I didn't vlog too much just because I was like, you know, trying to deal with my own stuff and my own self, but for the record, I am okay, everything is good. Ooh, so I know, um, on Friday, yes, Friday, because today, I'm like, I can't even remember what day it is, uh, but on Friday, one of, well, two of my oldest friends, they had their third baby, um, adorable, tiny little child, super cute. Thursday night, oh, that's what, okay, that's another thing that happened this week. Thursday night, I actually went over to their house and we hung out for a while. Um, just, you know, before she was going to have the baby and stuff. Um, just to hang out, because it's been a while. I haven't seen them in quite some time, because I'm a hermit. And, um, went over there, hung out with them, and I was talking to my one friend, Jake. Which, if, let's just say, if I had, like, had this vlog, had this channel for the last like 15 years, you would have known who he was. He was probably like arguably, not so arguably, one of the biggest influences I've had in my entire life. Like when we were younger, and again, I try to like be really respectful and respect people's privacy. So I don't like, I'm not gonna go into a ton of detail about him, um, but essentially he was my neighbor growing up. And at first, like we didn't know each other. Like we were neighbors, I lived in my old house for 22 years like we lived there my entire life and um he was our neighbor 
for a lot of that and I had never known him like we just we never knew each other it was like we just weren't like where we lived out in the country it wasn't like how in the city like your neighbors are your friends I mean it can be but we just weren't like that you know he was come to find out like he had a lot of like medical issues and stuff when he was younger which of course I wouldn't have known and when I was younger I was always just like to myself like I hung out by myself and I like to write reports about cats um I was you guys I've always been the grade a definition of a nerd like to the nth degree you have no idea like for me the my idea of fun when I was younger would be like sitting in my room and I'm not exaggerating at the ripe age of like eight years old listening to the 80s hits album that my mom had on cd um like eight six seven five three oh nine that was my jam um what was the other one Oh my god, you guys, there were so many. There's this, oh, I, I wish I could remember. I, I'm like, I look like I'm like washing my face. Um, oh, so anyways, where was I going with this story? You guys, one more reason that I can't do Get Ready With Me is because I can't keep my damn focus for longer than 10 seconds. But, anywho, um, what was I talking about? Oh yes, the neighbor. So, oh man, now it's time for brows. All right, just kidding, I'll talk about him in a second. I gotta do my brows. <sighs> gotta do the brows, I gotta get in the right headspace for the brows. Where is the brow pencil? Okay, I don't think that that went as bad as it could have went. Not bad, Paige. Moving on. So, back to what I was going to say. By the way, you guys, I've already, like, there's no foundation right there. Like, this eye, and it did it to this to me yesterday, too. Like, it waters so much that it takes away, like, a dime-sized amount of foundation right there. It's absolutely ridiculous. But, moving on. So, um, Jake was my neighbor. And, essentially, um we met on the bus one day and he played the drums and uh he was and he like he would incessantly like beat his sticks on all the the seats in the bus and he would drive me absolutely insane and so eventually one day we ended up talking because i was like holy bejesus what is wrong with you and uh and from then on out, we ended up just being really, really good friends. Like, we were the friends that were so close. We hung out every single day. Um, it wasn't like we dated or anything like that. We were like, you know how people say, like, you have a soulmate, like someone that you're meant to, like, marry and love for the rest of your life? Jake was my friend soulmate. We would constantly fight and bicker and, like, get so pissed off at each other, like, you know, every couple of years we would go like a couple of months without speaking because we'd have like this huge fight or whatever and we would always end up talking again for one reason or another. And um, it was just like the dynamic of our friendship. We were so, we were just, I don't know, our friendship is the type of friendship that I hope everyone gets to experience at least once in their life. And that was Jake and I. Like we were, we were just, in my opinion, we were special. Like our friendship was special. And I know that, I, and I'm not gonna ever assume like what it would have meant to someone else or to him. But what I can say from my perspective is I honestly don't know who I would have become or would be now if I hadn't met him. If he hadn't been my neighbor and if he hadn't been willing to come into my life and a, except me for what I was, which was a completely confused and naive child at that point. Um, but even more than that, I don't know what I would have done or become without what he showed me. I mean, he's, he's the one that took me to church. He's the one that, you know, introduced me to that, excuse me, to that side of life. He's the one that did all of that with me. And so it was always amusing though like a boss palette again you guys are gonna get a full review of this palette coming soon but I don't know he was just such a great guy and I'm always so thankful for what what role he played in my life like he came in at such a tumultuous time for me where if he hadn't I don't know how I would have handled so many different things in my life and not only that when he came into my life he brought so many friends and so many people like I didn't have a hard time making friends per se um I just I naturally have like a personality that's a little bit more outgoing where people are concerned so I tend to you know talk to people and gravitate and, and all of that pretty naturally um but it was the type of people that he brought into my life he brought in some of the most amazing and care caring and kind people and it wasn't just the Jesus you know what I mean like these people were not just good people because they had Jesus. They were just good people. And they didn't only like me because I went to church. That just added to it. You know what I mean? Like they were they were what people when when you 
All right, guys, sorry. So this is where I'm at currently. I'm going in with a seal of glitter. This is in the shade Starlight. It's one of their shimmer and glows, I believe, right? Yeah. Um, anyways, and I was just, I didn't realize that my camera battery had died and then shut off, and I just continued because that's what I do. So I believe I left off <laughs> somewhere along, um, oh, the people that I met and stuff like that. And oh my God. Okay, so as you just saw, that did not go so well. So I was trying to keep you guys in good light, but you no longer get good light. You get big fat chin face and this light, so hi. Um, anywho, um, and I was like in the middle of get doing this eye and like I can't let it dry before I get it done. So I was like, ha ha. So I had to make the hard decision to like finish the glitter. Although, is it even pretty close? I don't know. Anyways, oh my god, all of this to say, the people that I met, they were like the, you know how you always hear like the stereotypical like Christian people that are like, oh, they like you as long as you go to church, da 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 These were people that like, they actually liked me even though I was different. And I was always like that pain in the ass at church that was like, I questioned things or, you know, I, I, I didn't just go along to go along. I always maintained like, no, this is what I think. And some people, don't get me wrong, some people didn't like that, but other people respected me for it. So anyways, when he came into my life, it was like it was crazy because I had never I had never had someone like a friend like him who would come in into my world and choose to be a part of my world instead of trying to force me to just become and like assimilate to a part of their world if that makes any sense so I don't know I think that it helped a lot and I think that throughout the years um having having him as a friend has been honestly more like rewarding and more like unexpected than I ever could have anticipated so then a couple years ago he actually married another really good friend of mine um that I had been friends with forever and uh, her name's Angel we had been friends since well when he took me to church I met her and like became really good friends with her a couple years after going there so I've been like better friends with him l technically longer um, but her and I have just been through like a lot of things like in her life and in my life and you know always just kind of being there for each other and I think it's okay that like friendships take little hiatuses here and there but you know I, I think it's awesome that at the end of the day that they're married and now they just have like this third little cute child and they're such good parents oh my god they're like the opposite of what I am if I was a parent like they are patient and kind and forgiving and I'm like why can't you learn how to clean up your toys even though the baby's like two days old like that would be me going in with that it's a bomb or it's a bomb <laughs> take home the bomb oh my god take home the bronze the bomb bronzer wow Paige, good job and a ton of you have been commenting on this video and you're just like Paige, i should really use a mirror not the viewfinder oh my god you guys i think that when i get into a hurry sometimes like sometimes i'm like so calm and i'm just like oh it's fine and then other times i'm just like blah, 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 and i'm like trying to apply lipstick to my forehead you know it's like no no Paige, calm your tits a little bit so anyways, that's the bronzer I'm going in with. A ton of you guys are commenting and on that video and you're like, oh my god, we love these. Like, honestly, I can't get over how beautiful this bronzer is. Like, it's such a beautiful bronzer. And I'm so bummed. Oh, and a bunch of you too have also clarified, like, yes, Paige, you can get these. They're at Kohl's. And I did not know that because I bought them straight from the website when they obviously were in stock. So if you're looking for a place to get them, a bunch of people are commenting Kohl's is the place to go, which is awesome. Okay, guys, I have got to finish up my face and then get on the road. So this is the end of this vlog. And at the beginning of next week's vlog, you will see how everything turned out and came together in good lighting. So um, I hope you guys have a great, uh, a great week. I hope that you've enjoyed this vlog and I will see you next week for another weekly vlog that's hopefully a little damn bit more exciting. Bye guys! Again with the hands. I'm gonna chop my damn hands off. <sighs>